a SAC chairman finally telling his side of the spirit saga. I worked with six premiers and ten government ministers from both sides of parliament and have never witnessed such an appalling lack of support from government as experienced over the previous 12 months. After 11 years at the helm, Mike Granger left TT Line in August, the first casualty of an over-budget, delayed project to build two new ferries and port infrastructure for them to berth at. I received an email from the shareholder ministers advising that they and the government had lost confidence in me and unless I resigned by 7pm that day, my position as chairman would be terminated effective immediately. The parliamentary hearing largely focusing on delays in building the Spirit's permanent home at Devonport, which won't be finished until 2026. A lack of access to the site remains the single biggest contributor to the delay of birth three. Mr Granger said TT Line had raised concerns for years with former Infrastructure Minister Michael Ferguson. I said, Minister, our single biggest risk in this whole project is Tasports and Birth 3. Minister Ferguson replied that I needed to learn to play in the sand pit with Tasports. Some of the time frames are murky. Labor claims Mr Ferguson has misled Parliament. He denies it. What we have seen with this entire episode is instance after instance after instance of where this government has failed to act, where issues have been raised, the minister has been made aware of these problems and nothing has been done about it. The government's looking at upgrading the berth used by the existing spirits as a stopgap. A report into how long that could take and how much it will cost is due later this month. But the inquiry heard there are serious safety concerns about using the berth. We've already had two incidents, serious incidents. Why would we put a ship that's longer, wider and deeper into the same position? If the temporary solution doesn't go ahead, the ships could be stashed overseas. Could you just go into a bit more about why Singapore has been considered as a, as a place to dock? Uh, we, we've looked at anywhere that it's, it's cheaper than Hobart. Premier Jeremy Rockliffe will face the inquiry next month. He says he's focused on getting the new spirits sailing as soon as possible. Adam Langenberg, ABC News.